hello guys welcome back to our channel a lot of hush hush is going on around right now as we speak one of the prominent protesters was supposed to travel out for her birthday on reaching the international airport she was uh, uh, her passport was international passport was seized and there was so much hush hush around it and uh, she couldn't talk using her social media handle for a while but the people's guys that was able to dig out and found out that her passport was seized simply because she's among the no-fly list uh, being unofficially uh, uh, compiled by the federal government. So that those who en who engineered or championed um, uh, NSAS, hashtag NSAS protest, especially prominent one, won't be able to fly out of the country. Hours after, the federal government also came up and debunked the news being uh, circulated by People's Gazette saying that it was fake and it was false. Fast forward, the young lady said she still has not gotten access to her uh, international passport. Although during the trending video, she was so mute, she didn't want to talk. No, 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 Nigerians were probably wondering what's going on. Well, as we speak, other issues have come, has been raised and it's really bringing concern over the same issue of NSAS protesters and they are targeting a lot of very prominent persons in here but before we go into the news proper and for the analysis we'd like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it you see a bell notification icon please go ahead click on it to get notified as soon as you update our channel on youtube where there was this, there were strong indications as of tuesday that the federal government has begun to clamp down on promoters of hashtag NSAS protest by freezing their bank accounts. Some hashtag NSAS promoters who spoke separately said their banks informed them that the Central Bank of Nigeria has directed that their account should be frozen. Hmm. Last month, youth calling for the disbanding of the special anti-robbery squad of the Nigerian police protested for two weeks in major cities of the country. On Tuesday, some promoters of the protest said their account has been frozen for the past two weeks. The CBN, according to multiple complaints, reportedly instructed banks to place a post note debit, debit that's leaning their account, restriction on the account. Post note debit restriction on the account, that means uh, you, can't, you cannot withdraw. You can pay in money, but you can't withdraw out of that money. It's frozen. The banks, it was learned, were able to implement the directive by tracking the narration of the transactions. Bank transactions that included the narration, hashtag NSAS or NSAS were immediately flagged while such accounts receiving funds were frozen. <laughs> Speaking, a pharmacist, Basti Israel, who was in charge of the hashtag NSAS medical team, in Port Harcourt said his account with Access Bank has remained frozen since October 15. According to him, when he learned of the development, he went to the bank to find out the reason for it. Israel said he was informed by a bank officer that the directive came from the Apex Bank, which is CBN. He said, I am in charge of NSAS medical team in Port Harcourt, and we had people donating for medical supplies, food, water, ambulance services, and these donations were made directly into my account. And of course, these donations had NSAS descriptions, so I think it was how they were able to flag my account. I noticed that on October 15, I was trying to make a debit transaction on my account. I noticed that there was a restriction. So I called the bank, and I was told that there was indeed a restriction, but I should go to any branch near me. And when I did so, the branch manager sent a mail to the branch where I opened the account. The response to the mail was that there was a directive from the CBN to restrict the account. The lady was surprised and even asked me if I had any issue with CBN. And I responded, if I had any issue with CBN, I wouldn't be in the bank in the first place. I'll be on the run. I asked what could be done and she gave me no answer. She had to show me the mail on her computer, which I read. It was directly from the CBN, and it read, Place this account on PND, post no debit. PND, post no debit. When asked if others had similar problems, Israel said, I know many persons that have the same challenge. Israel said the money in the frozen account was a substantial sum. Another hashtag insults protester told one of 
her correspondent that she had not been able to access her account and had been informed that it was frozen. She, however, wished to remain anonymous for fear of being victimized by the government. One of the promoters of the hashtag NSAS movement, that's Faye Kemi Abodun, also confirmed in her tweets that the account of several persons involved in the protest has been frozen. The acting spokesperson for the CBN, Abdul, Abdul Mumin Issa, who was first contacted last week on the telephone, asked the respondent to give him some time. However, after one week of waiting, Issa has yet to provide any information on the matter. Also, as of the time of sending this report, as at 8 p.m., he had yet he had yet the spokes, he had to see the spokes, uh, spokes, so small for Access Bank, Abdul Imoyi, said he could not make comment on individual accounts of customers for confidential reasons. Meanwhile, the Nigerian Immigration Service on Monday prevented a promoter of the NSAS movement, that's Mudukwe or Delhi, from traveling. Although the NIS officers did not disclose the reason for the, their action, it is believed that the action was taken because of her alleged role on the hashtag NSAS protest. Odile had through her social media handle, that is Mochi, Mochevios, mobilized her 219,000 followers during the protest. She had also ensured that free legal aid was given to persons who were unjustly arrested during the demonstrations. Confirming the development in a newsletter sent out on Monday, the lawyer said she was on her way to Maldives to celebrate her birthday when she was accosted by immigration officers. She wrote, For my birthday, I had planned a trip to Maldives, Maldives, Maldives and it was really for a break as the events of the last three weeks had been exhausted have exhausted my mind and body in a way I've never been exhausted in my life. I went to the airport, passed through immigration, and while I was putting my bags through the bad body and baggage scanner, the immigration officer who had previously cleared me called me back. He told me he had orders from my booth to detain me. Okay, at this point, I'm like, excuse me? My flight is in an hour. On what grounds are you detaining me? He didn't respond. He said, instead, he goes to his computer where he typed in my name and something that looked like a wanted poster popped up on the portal. He blocked my view so I couldn't see most of it, but I saw some of it and addressed something like, this person is under investigation by XYZ intelligence agency. If seen, they should be apprehended on sight. Odele said she was detained while her passport was seized by the officers and she was made to miss her flight. The spokesman for the NIS, Sandy James, said he did not have any information on the matter but promised to find out. There were reports that federal government had begun going after notable persons in the hashtag NSAS protest and had placed some of them on a no-fly list. However, the Federal Ministry of Interior denied the allegation, saying it did not generate any no-fly list. Reacting to the reported freezing of bank account belonging to supporters of, of the campaign, the hashtag NSAS protesters said the president, Major General Muhammad Buhari, retired was simply displaying the trait of a dictator. A member of the group, Dayo Ario Atoye, said it was unfortunate that Buhari's regime would take extrajudicial measures to curtail the hashtag NSAS campaign. He stated, what we have seen is worrisome and totally condemnable and unfortunate. It is not impossible that this government can take an illegal measure to curtail the hashtag NSAS campaign, especially now that the northern irredentists irid are calling for a crackdown on social media and free speech. So it is not unexpected that this government can do it. As a military head of state, General Buhari did it. As a civilian, he's also showing the same trait of military dictatorship or what the hashtag NSAS movement would do, Ariyo Atoyo said his group would request a foreign government to repatriate the families of all government officials living abroad. If the government has compiled names of protesters to stop them from leaving the country in violation of their rights, we may compile the names of their family members in foreign countries and seek visa ban for the leaders. We would write to the foreign government to repatriate their family members living abroad, he said. Now, this is serious. Initially, I would say I was really commending the president for the 
hashtag instance um so to speak the freedom we enjoyed you know we allowed nigerians to protest freely even though at some point you know the lucky thing came in and all that but at least to a great extent there was no media clamp down i was expecting but maybe hope maybe they would have even seized the whole social media uh, seized the whole internet although if they had tried seizing the whole uh, internet banks wouldn't have worked so medical facilities that were into using the internet wouldn't have worked a lot of things would have been gone would have crashed down but they would have had a way of you know you know climbing it down one way but now hearing this is really disheartening i just hope and pray that this, this is alleged but how can i say it's alleged we are seeing people who are saying that they are truly being clamped down let's interact in that conversation no hate was what's your take on this little thing